Let me hook this up. I haven't used this in forever. And I'll tell you, being left-handed. Anyway. Tuesday morning. It's 10 weeks since Sky passed. 70 days. I hit 70 days. He's been gone 70 days. I didn't sleep well last night. I was up from 1 o'clock until 4.30 this morning and I fell back to sleep for an hour and a half. And so I feel real weird. Um, yeah, I feel real weird. Whatever that means. I've got my, this is my water from last night. I filled this before I went to bed. I didn't go to bed till 10.30. And I'll tell you why in a minute. But um, I put some ice cubes in it so it's sweating. Uh, because it was like almost room temperature. It was 60 degrees in, out. it was 60 degrees here last night outside. Like when I did the temperature in the weather, it said 60 degrees through the night. Let's turn this so we don't get the window. I want to read the card. I'm going to pretend like this was yesterday's card because this fits my yesterday. Life is short, live it. Love is rare, grab it. Anger is bad, dump it. Fear is awful, face it. Memory is sweet, cherish it. That's an unknown person. The action is challenge yourself today by taking one bold action that would make you proud of yourself. I did it. I did the um, bold action. I did two things yesterday that were kind of bold. One thing that I did was I texted Sky's sons and I asked them if they wanted his CDs. He had about 100 CDs, jazz, blues, Gaelic music, um, and uh, like heavy metal, like, I don't know, like Jethro Tull and Cream and um, Led Zeppelin, like stuff. I, nothing that I would listen to at all, none of them. And uh, so both the boys said, no, they didn't want any of them. They had taken a few last year when they came to see their dad and they each took like two so that they could fit them in their suitcase. So they had what they wanted. They both said to go ahead and donate them. So that's what I did. So all that's out of the house. Now the music's all gone, um, his CDs. And it's funny because the years we were together, all the years we were together, he never played one of those CDs, ever, ever. I, ever. If he listened to music, it would be on his phone. And even that was rare. So I was okay with that. I was okay with getting rid of the music, um, passing it along. And there's only one more thing that's going to go out. And that's, there's a Godzilla in a box. It's, it's, um, it's mint in the box. And it goes to his son in California. So I'm going to get it out of the closet. I'm going to take a look at it. I'm going to see what size box I need. And then I'm going to pack it up and I'm going to send it out to California for his son's birthday, which is the end of July. But as soon as I can find a box, it's going to go because that it was something that Sky was adamant about that his son gets that Godzilla. The box is like this. Um, so uh, everything else stays. His books, his little trinkets, they stay. And I got noticed that I'm getting a package today. Um, I don't know what it is, but I'm excited. I, I know who it's from, but I'm not going to say. Um, the other, the bold thing I did, the real other bold thing I did was um, I went to my first widower and widow grief meeting face-to-face -face last night. I, tech, I called the facilitator for the um, Mental Health Alliance that's in the neighboring town and the meeting was last night at 6 o'clock and I drove myself up there and I went to the meeting from, it was at 6.30, 6.30 to 8. I left here at 6 o'clock, got up there at just exactly 6.30 and um, there was six people total in all different stages of the length of time. Um, three of us were new, new people to the group. And so there was six people total. And it was really good for me to go because there was a lot of talk about, um, like everybody was caregivers of sorts and 
different ways people feel and you know it being a time thing and my question was what do you do while you're waiting what do you do with the time and uh, it's it came down to making a decision as to where you want to stay in your thinking and in your life do you want to stay in the death or do you want to move over to the memory of the living and be in the living and so it was a good meeting um, I was supposed to have therapy this morning and I got a call about an hour ago I guess now maybe even more my therapist is not feeling well she's not in the office today so there'll be no therapy this week I have it again next I'll have it next week so I have the morning to myself I have pretty much the day to myself so I'm going to go through some paperwork I want to check a couple things I want to add some things to my list of what I need to buy I need to uh, order ink for my printer because the only thing that I have is what came with the printer and they actually sent like full cartridges but I've done a lot of printing because of you know the death and there was a lot of things I needed to print out and make copies and all that so I need to see where the cheapest place is to get the ink that I need for this particular printer I also want to get um, castor oil I'm hearing all over TikTok use castor oil on your on your neck on the wrinkles in your neck and like in here and it's supposed to be like a wonder thing to get rid of the wrinkles because we don't want this um, and I need to go to the corner store and pick up a couple things so that will I'll weave all that in today uh, I I heard this is going to some people will roll their eyes but I heard sky walking around the apartment last night twice not like thump 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 walking around the apartment but I heard the creaks in the floor to tell me that there was movement or a step somewhere that he knew I would hear it and one was outside my door and one was more in the living room and it didn't scare me it made me feel so good to know that he was here last night to let me know that hey I'm okay and I'm close to you I'm around you um, I ask God all the time to help Sky show me signs and he does God does and Sky does so uh, I'm gonna try and get a walk in today and I really 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 am ready to move away from the whole death part and get into the living part uh, it's been 10 weeks that's a very short time uh, when you think about well you just lost him 10 weeks ago yes I did but I I've been living in his death and I don't want to do that anymore I know his death I know what happened I know what MSA did MSA is multiple system atrophy and it's got to be one of the crueler um, diseases out there he lost every single function of his body um, as the disease progressed over time he fell multiple times he couldn't keep his balance he couldn't sit up on his own he couldn't stand on his own then he couldn't stand at all he couldn't walk uh, he couldn't get up in the bed on his own he couldn't um, he couldn't brush his teeth um, his vision went uh, bad uh, he was seeing two and three of everything he lost his sense of smell his sense of taste he had trouble swallowing trouble chewing um, his he couldn't put words together his voice got so soft I couldn't hear him he couldn't write he couldn't type he couldn't hold on to things cups spoons he couldn't feed himself he couldn't even feel when he was going to the bathroom he couldn't tell uh, it was awful and 
I think he only got peace um, when the morphine and the Ativan were added as he transitioned into the death stage and into his next life. Sky was a Soto Zen Buddhist, and as a Soto Zen Buddhist who took Jakai, um, that was Sky's public declaration that he was practicing Buddhism, and in that realm, you go into the next life. You don't ever die. You go into the next life. And so there, a lot of people don't understand Buddhism. Um, my friend that I have coffee with now and then, and he said, well, um, like when you pray to the Buddha, what do you, what do you do? And I said, you don't pray to Buddha. You don't. You, and he said, well, isn't that what you do when you sit meditation? I'm like, no, I don't sit meditation and pray to the Buddha. I said meditation just to clear my mind. Let a thought come in, let a thought go. Let a thought come in, let a thought go. And just breathe and just be. But there's no praying to anyone. Um, the Buddha said, don't, don't come to me for answers. <laughs> if you find your own answers. I'm, I found my answers, you find your answers. And ultimately, ultimately what it comes down to is just finding a middle ground in your life so that you don't have too much or too little of anything. And uh, be careful of attachment because attachment is what causes suffering. So, you know, falling in love and getting married and being with that special someone and they die, there's the suffering because we attach as humans. With as much as we try not to, we do. We attach to our cars, our jobs, our homes, our clothing, our jewelry. We form attachments to our favorite coffee cup. Um, I'm attached to these cards. I read them every day. I love them. Uh, now, if the cards disappeared or something, I wouldn't be heartbroken, you know. I really, I love them, but there's, there's layers and forms of how you attach to something and how easily you can let go of something. So if I dropped, or if my dragon cup, my coffee cup broke, um, it wouldn't bother me in the least. I've had it for how long now? And I use it every single day and it's always in the freezer. So sooner or later, something's going to happen to it, right? But I'm not going to cry over it. It's like, okay, I used it all this time and I loved it, but I'm going to get something else. Um, but with love, with relationships, with um, that kind of attachment, that's a whole different ball game. And it takes, it takes time. My question was, what do you do with the time? And really what you do at the time is, is you live life and you have to make a decision how you're going to live that life. Are you going to live it? And you either live it constantly in the death or you live it in the memory of when your person was alive and the wonderful things you did and the moments, good, bad, and ugly. Um, but you, there's, there needs to be a shift from that to this. And one of the things that I said was, I don't remember a lot of the last five days of his life, it was like a blur. You know, there's a lot of gray area. Um, and it's like that with life in general, where there's a lot of gray area in our lives. In my relationship with them in the 14 years, there was a lot of gray area, but I have certain things that I remember very clearly. Um, some really good things that we did, some really good moments, and some really bad moments that we had. So it's a matter of, I hit 10 weeks, I'm going to still cry. I'm going to still have my moments for a very long time. And I know that, but I'm ready to release the death part and move on to his living memory, not the fact that he's moved on to his next life. I'm happy for him because I know with his practice of Buddhism, he is in another life. And so I'm happy for him. Me, I'm praying to God like you wouldn't believe. I am praying and praying and praying. And I have my Marcus Aurelius meditations book and I'll pick it up and I'll read some passages out of there. The, the Stoics, the Stoics with a capital M, capital S, the Stoics um, were firm believers in God. 
and they had a very no-nonsense approach to life. Um, we have two ears and one mouth, so listen more than you talk. And a whole bunch of other things. And I'll throw some out as I go along. But, um, um, and I'm a little bit Buddhist. Yeah, I do meditation. I do walking meditation. I do working meditation, like when I'm cleaning. Um, you know, clearing my mind. Uh, I do believe in the not too much, not too little. But finding that middle road in my life. Um, I want to live. Um, I'm finishing up my 65th rotation around the sun. In August, I will finish 65 rotations around the sun. 65 years. So in five years from there, I hit the 70th rotation. The average life expectancy is 78, according to a documentary I just watched. So Sky almost made the average life expectancy. Um, my mother well exceeded it at 97 years. And my dad was 81 when he left this earth. So it comes down to how you want to be and how you want to live your life. How you, what do you, it's, it, it's like, it's a mind change up. It's a, it's a, it's a mind freedom. Um, I know what he went through and I know his suffering. I saw it every day, every day I saw it. I heard him holler out in pain when I tried to move him. Um, I witnessed all the change. So I know what he went through. And it was not pretty. Um, and so I want to let that go as much as I can and move on in my life to figuring out me, just me being me, just one person now, and what's next for me. I don't know yet. All that will come in time, but as I'm living my life, the memory of Sky and my relationship, that book, that book will be opened a lot in my, in my mind. Um, it can't not be opened, you know? It's the same as um, anything that I've done in my lifetime. A memory will pop up. Some of them aren't so good, and some of them are really good. And, uh, yeah, it's different. My life is different now. It's been different for the last 10 weeks that I've been on my own. But it was different for the three years that he was actively ill. It was really different the last three months of his life. And it was super different the last seven days, six days, as he transitioned to his next life. It was really different. My life changed up in stages. Um, yeah. And so now I have to face what is. And what is is that it's me. Just me. He's never coming back. He's never walking through the door again. He's never walking in with his lunchbox. He's never going to sit in meditation again here with me. And that's that. That's the truth of it. And um, it's, I'm at the place where I'm facing that. And I'm ready to figure out what I need to do in my days to fill my days on my own. And I don't know what that looks like yet. Um, everybody has their own time frame. Um, I'm kind of worn down from living um, 
the sad part. Even though I know it's going to come up time and time again, I don't want that to be my main focus all the time. So, um, it's time to move forward. And I've been moving forward over the last 10 weeks. I've been moving forward every day. I moved forward without even realizing I was moving forward because I was doing the things I needed to do. I was taking care of business and I was living life, albeit with tears and sadness, but I was still living life. Uh, one of the things that makes my situation a little bit different than most is that Sky and I did not share a bedroom. He always had his own room and I had my own room. There was a very short period of time that we shared the same bedroom. And so I didn't have that loss of him not being with me through the night, uh, like a lot of people do. So I didn't, I don't have to deal with that part of the, my loss, you know? Um, so that makes it a little bit different for me. Uh, he worked full time, all different hours. I worked two jobs, one full-time, one part-time, all different hours. And we didn't have a lot of time together over our 13 and a half years, but we had time. And it's those, you know, little in-between times that we had that will keep me going in good memories. I wasn't with him for 50 some years, like some folks. I was with him for 13 and a half. And that's just a drop in the bucket compared to some, right? But I still have enough memory. And there was a, a really special relationship that we had. And um, I'm grateful for it. I'm grateful for knowing him, for loving him, for him being in my life, for his teachings, and for what I was able to teach him. Um, so onward. May 7th, 2024, week 10, time to start becoming the wayward part of the wayward widow. Um, I don't want to always be the one left behind. I want to be the one moving ahead because you're the one left behind, but then do you stay behind? How long do you stay behind before you move ahead? Therein lies the question, I suppose. Some people stay behind forever till they pass. And some people move ahead really fast. And some people, you know, it's a year, two years. Some people it's five months. Some people it's 10 months. Some people it's five years. To, to, to do what? Move to a new city, get a new job, meet someone new, start dating. Um, change up houses, get a cat or a dog, whatever it is that your new moving forward means. And I don't know for me yet. Um, I want to get a turtle, a live turtle. I want to get a turtle. That's something I do want to get. Um, and other than that, I'm not sure. I want to start walking that's getting walks in and getting my body moving. And uh, that's, that's another thing that I know is, is in my present and my future. And then I don't know. Time will tell whether I stay here beyond a year, whether there's something comes up and another housing situation opens up for me and I move and I'm in more of a community where um, people talk to each other because in my community everybody's behind closed doors and uh, yeah so um, I don't know it's it's scary but exciting kind of all at the same time so I'm gonna go I talked for 24 minutes um, thank you guys for being with me
as I continue to go through my life and I appreciate you so much. Uh, you, um, you all being there for me has given me hope, you know, cheering me on and recognizing that what I'm going through and what's happened in my loss, I wasn't the one that died. He died. I don't know what that felt like for him. And I think about that often, but I'm still alive and there's going to come a time where I'm going to die. And I think you guys watching me go through all the parts of this, um, it brings the realization to you as to what you may go through or will go through at some point and what you need to take care of now. And the realization of life is short compared to eternity. Life is short. Um, so live it. Like the card says, life is short, live it. Love is rare, grab it. Anger is bad, dump it. Fear is awful, face it. Memory is sweet, cherish it. I'll end with that one. I should end with that one every day. That's a good one to end with, isn't it? Yeah.